Beautiful morning. Maybe it's not hopeless. Give it another go. Could have a line in the water to catch a fish. Not the glorious return to camp I was hoping for. I need to go and exercise the demon. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Camping is a cruel mistress. You know that stick I stood on it? And you're like, oh, I'll put the same stick in front of your seat. <laughs> and then I was waiting for you to come back so patiently. So patiently, in fact, that I forgot to put the stick there. <laughs> then I just went to walk over there or something, and I've walked straight into my own booby trap and tore the skin off my foot. Karma is a bitch. Morning. So really well last night, it was great. So this morning we've had a little chat, we are talking about possibly doing a coffee off. Are we doing the coffee off? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna bake it's a coffee all the coffees. Off. So I'm doing, I brought a Bellman, if you don't know about a Bellman, it's like a um, camping espresso maker. So, using this thing, bit of a process, not gonna lie, but um, it does make good coffee if you get it down pat. First step. Bottom of the bellman, it's got measured marks, nine, six, and three. That's the basket, spacer, so you can flip it over, drop it down into there, <clears throat> pouring a spouty lid bit on there. Screw it down tight. The idea of this thing is that it builds pressure um, with the water boiling. You gotta get it tight. Check your other little taps of clothes. There's one here, this one's for steaming milk. This one's where the coffee will come out. And then the pressure gauge here is gonna tell you when to pour. Now we play the waiting game again. We gotta wait for this needle to start reading some pressure before we pour. I just gotta get in there, man. Our camp neighbour <coughs> looks to be having trouble with his motor. Our board motor has been out there for about mm. 20 minutes having a go at it. And I would have walked down already, but I'm struggling to walk. And once I get bandaged up and have a coffee, I think I might go and say hello. I might just need a pull start, like a, like a push start. Oh, we were just talking about neighbours. No. They were the ones having trouble with the boat this morning. No, no. And uh, the one thing we, so I think Steve thought Baxter was bringing a cast net and Baxter thought Steve was bringing a cast net, so we didn't have a cast net. Well, is this cast net lesson? Yeah, yeah, yeah he brings, he can't throw it. So I've just looped all that up. Yeah. And then I'll, this is how I was taught. So you grab it at that point. Okay. Now this is the easiest way I've ever heard of. Get all your fingers out. Go one. And you got to keep going. Another loop. Two. Another loop. Three, and then I just get, you get like about a, a third of it, like that, yeah. and then you just, just throw it in. Yeah. Like, that jig in the top is holding it together. What do you reckon about there where you feel that sort of yeah, bunch yeah. up? Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah just test good. it a few more times, just check it really quickly. Takes the master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was scary watching Mark uh, try and teach someone something. But well, he's done pretty well here. Oh my God, you got three. 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 Oh. Three. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> we gonna eat tonight. <laughs> we eating tonight, boys. <laughs> oh ho, oh, yeah, no, boy. <laughs> what are you taking a few? Or? Oh, f yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep rolling. Yeah. Yeah. Up, yeah. Cheers, man. Good right. stuff. So the plan is, uh, we've got the car running, so we're gonna let it charge for a bit. So we're just gonna head up the creek and go fishing for an hour or two. See what we can get. We just got those uh, live mullet off the uh, beach in the cast net. Wipe them out and see how they go. Hurry up! So we're just cruising up the creek and we've um, thought, like, just on um, a little sandbag there, we're like, oh, is that um, some sticks or some crocodiles? We came up there and it was three little crocodiles. Um, I think one of them slipped down into the water. I don't know if he's just on the edge or gone. Um, there's one still up on the bank and the other one we can still see just sitting on the edge. Pretty cool. <laughs> hey? There we go. Nice little barra. First barra out in the salt for the trip. Beautiful little barra. Oh, he's a feisty one too. Tiny one, we just need to catch his uh, big brother or mother or something. Would be nice. Oh um, yeah, beautiful fish. Off he goes. Uh, so we've um, we just came along this bank and um, there's just tiny little bits of structure, you know, little overhangs, little sticks in there, little gutters, and um, nearly every gutter on this bottom end would sort of get a fish come up and have a tap or we'd pull it out of the drain. Another one coming up behind Baxter here, so I think we'll keep working this edge for you know, maybe another drift and see if they're coming on or if that was, you know, that was just a couple of fish. Um, yeah, see how we go. Get it in that gutter there, Baxter, eh? This is almost feeling like you caught a curse. <laughs> Maybe I did. Wrong barra. Wrong barra. Barra food. It's legal, huh? still a nice barra. Yeah! Ooh. Nice to get a barra this morning. Um, just mark now. You gotta get a barra, man. Get in there. Oh, no, that's no oh, good. No good. <laughs> See a barry. The right barra this time. Not that stinky barracuda barra. The proper barra. Oh, another barra. He just gave a nice jump too, eh? Get another one. Oh, dropped it in. Oh, so sad. Oh, no. Another one. Cuda. Oh, dropped him. That's, that's the good kind of barra drop. <laughs> we've we've found the balance. Barra. Catch a barracuda, catch a barra, drop a barra, drop a barracuda. I'm back to like oh, zero net gain. Big, the last one? Yeah, hot. Just trolling. Now what it is. Oh, it's shallow, so shallow. Oh, oh that's a like good though. Got a good bite, is That's cool. That's cool, a little flathead. That was a good session, eh? Happy with it? Yeah. A yeah. couple barra, you cod. Great. Yeah. How'd great, you go, Mark? Yeah, great session. No, it was really good. I didn't catch one oh. fish. Did you seriously catch none? That's Let's a bit go. disappointing. I can't. I really thought you caught something. It's time to go. <laughs> so it's afternoon. We're going to go down the beach. We saw some firewood on the bank. Dumping on the shore for tonight for a fire. Mm. And then uh, this afternoon we'll just go out the front, troll around, and hopefully get some. Um, a few pelagic fish. Pelagics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go out, chase some uh, pelagics. We're having fish tacos. We have to catch fish for dinner. 
Uh, we changed our plans a bit, what we're, what we're having for dinner. Um, pretty much because we can't catch fish. So we're going to have fish tacos, and fish tacos without fish is not really good. Um, so up there we're a chance of barra, jacks, salmon, finger mark, runner. All very edible fish. This afternoon we'll just go out the front, troll around, and hopefully get some um, mackerel, tuna, queenfish, trevally. I'm thinking of potatoes. We'll have a couple of potatoes. I like Two it. or three for dinner. I like it. And that's fucking it. Yeah. Although I didn't catch a fish, it was a pretty good day. We met some new friends. Taught them a thing or two. Or just a thing. We actually just taught them one thing. That's that's what we're going for is what we do is achievable. You can also go out, catch no fish, run out of food, get bogged and go home saying it was a good day. You're coming with me. Catfish. Mark, would you rather catch no fish or a catfish? You know, in America, they're a highly regarded oh, uh, edible delicacy. <laughs> they're, a, they're a highly regarded sports fish. 